I'm Dan Gukin, author of these books on Word, and here's today's Word Tip. Macros need not be sentenced to life on the keyboard. Further, with enough macros, you eventually run out of keyboard shortcuts. How dreadful. I'm going to create a macro. Now review an earlier Word Tip video if you want to see the details, link above. I'm going to move kind of quickly here. The goal is to create a macro that swaps words in a conjunction. Position the cursor at the start of the first word. Developer tab. Record macro. Name it and so on. Now comes the important part. Click button. This is the quick access toolbar part of the Word Options dialog box. You see the existing commands here. Here's my macro conveniently located in the macros category. And you can add the command to a tab on the ribbon, which I'll demonstrate in a moment. But anyway, click Add to place the new macro, the command, on the Quick Access Toolbar. Now, I could change its position up or down, back and forth. This is fun. Click Modify to set a new icon for the command. And none of these look sexy, so I'll keep the default macro icon, no problem. I can edit the name, however, to just swap words, so I'll do so. OK, and OK. Now the macro is recording. See the mouse pointer? Someday I'll promise you we'll have 21st century icons for recording macros, as well as saving files. For now, record the macro. Select this word, cut. Move over one word, paste. Select a word, cut. And hop back two words, clickety-click, paste. Stop recording. See this icon? <laughs> That's the macro. Let me position the cursor, click the button, and the words are swapped back. Miraculous! Here's your macro on the Quick Access Toolbar. So say you instead want the macro on a tab on the ribbon. Refer to an earlier Word Tips video for details on customizing the ribbon. Link thing above for painstaking details. File tab. Options. In the Word Options dialog box, choose Customize Ribbon. Off on the right, you see my old custom tab, Favorites. I'll expand it. And I'm going to create a new group just for the macros. To prove it, I will rename it to Macros. Okie doke. And on the left, I'm going to choose the Macros category. Here you see the list of macros I've created. Why not add them both? So select the macro, add, add. And I can edit the names, which is one of the few worthy things that can be done here. Select the macro, rename, and shorten this to swap words. OK. And rename the other one, rename, delete spaces. Okie doke. Everything looks good. Final thing, click this box to ensure that the favorites tab shows up. OK. Now let's go to the Favorites tab, and behold, the macros. I know they both work, but I haven't used them as buttons yet, so position the cursor to swap words and swap words. And I'll move the cursor down here where conveniently I have an abundance of spaces. Delete spaces. Ta-da! And there you have it. Commands you built yourself on a custom tab you built yourself on the ribbon. I'll explore more with macros in future Word Tips videos and perhaps even take a stab at using the Visual Basic for Applications programming language. Or perhaps not. Some things in Word are too frightening, even for me.